Hi everyone, welcome to day 4 of 21 days of yoga. I'm Elisa and I'm so glad that you're practicing with me today. Today we will be working on sun salutation A and some other new standing poses. Our focus is going to be positivity. And being positive has an incredible impact in our lives for the better. Our minds will always believe what we tell them and so we need to be careful with this because what we think we become so we must fill our minds with positivity. Now a negative mind will always look for ways it can't be done but a positive one will always find a way to do it. We have the choice to train our mind to be open to positive thoughts and habits and we can do that by changing a negative for a positive every time that negativity shows up. Let's get started. Today we'll start in child pose. Your knees can be together or separate and with your big toes touching and your arms forwards. Here notice your breath coming in and out through your nose. Soften the shoulders and neck As you breathe, feel like if the breath was coming in from the crown of your head all the way through the spine to the tailbone and then coming all the way back up and out through the crown of your head. As you begin to feel more comfortable with this breath, every time you breathe in, feed your mind with positivity, whatever that means to you. And exhale anything that might come to your mind that no longer serves you. I'll let you work on these for a few more rounds. Your mind will try to wander. Stay present. Inhaling positivity and exhaling any negativity left if there's any. breathing, keep exhaling anything that no longer serves you. We'll take a full breath in and empty. Inhale, find the length through the spine. Exhaling, walk your hands to the right. Side stretch. Keep breathing and notice the space created in between your ribs on the left side. Deep breath in and pull back to center as you exhale. Lengthen through the spine, breath in. Walk your hands towards the left, exhaling. Keep 
keep breathing and notice the space created in between your ribs on the right side this time. Deep breath in and roll back to center as you breathe out. Inhale here and come back to your force. Exhale. Belly to the ground, look up. Inhale. Round your back to the sky. Exhale. Inhale for cow, look up. Exhale for cat, navel to the sky. Cow, inhale, broadening your collarbones. Cat, empty, creating space in between your shoulder blades. Last round, breathe in for cow and cut and empty tuck your toes under down dog keep your knees slightly bent and find the length through the spine keep breathing through your nose and tilt the sit bones up if your ribs are flaring out, tuck them in. Two more breaths. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. Little steps to the front in between your hands. Keep your feet hips distance apart and hold opposite elbows for ragdoll allow the bottom of your belly to touch the top of your thighs if it doesn't feel free to bend your knees as much as you need to and relax your head you can stay still or add some movement sideways feeling the release slightly different deep breath in and empty leave the head heavy and begin to roll yourself up to standing Arms above your head, breath in, hands to your heart, exhale. And remember, positive over negative. Here, we'll start the sun salutation A. Reach up, inhale, forward fall from your hips, exhale. Half we lift, inhale, flat back, hands to the floor, step back to high plank. Hands under your shoulders and spread your fingers. Push the floor away, creating space in between your shoulder blades like a little dough. Three more breaths. Inhale through the nose, exhale, inhale, creating space in between the shoulder blades and exhale, activate the core, breathe in and out, shoulders forwards, knees to the ground, inhale, Lower to the ground, exhaling. Press with the top of your feet towards the ground. Low cobra, breath in, broaden the collarbones. And down dog, exhale. 
four breaths here. Feel like if something was pulling your spine in diagonal to the sky as you melt your heels to the ground. Keep breathing. One last breath in and empty. Little steps to the front. Halfway lift. Inhale, bringing the shoulders back. Forward fold. Exhale, relax your head. And roll yourself up to standing. Arms to the sky, breath in, forward fold from your hips, breath out. Halve lift, inhale, flat back. Step back to high plank, knees to the ground and exhaling all the way down. Mini cobra or up dog, inhale, down dog, Exhale, three breaths. Sometimes it feels nice to let our mind create its own shows because it's just easier. But this doesn't serve us at all. Simply be aware, watch, listen and engage with more positive than negative things. Last deep breath in. Little steps to the front of your mat as you breathe out. Half will lift. Inhale. Forward fold. Exhale and roll yourself up to standing for the last round arms to the sky inhale forward fold from your hips empty halfway lift inhale broaden the collarbones step back to high plank knees down and to the ground breath out mini cobra or up dog Inhale, down dog, exhale, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, <sighs> little steps to the front, halfway lift, inhale, forward fold and empty. Leave the head heavy and roll your way up to standing. Arms to the sky. Inhale. Hands to your heart and empty. From here, we'll take a big step to the side for goddess pose. Bring your toes facing out a little. And we'll keep the knees in the same direction as our second toes. Arms to the sky, breath in and sing your hips down as you breathe out. Here, we'll try to keep our knees at 90 degrees as we push outwards, opening the hips. Come up, inhale and lower down as you empty. Up, breath in. Down and stay empty. Right heel off the ground, breath in. Down and empty. 
left heel off the ground inhale down and empty right up in down and out left up in down out both heels off the ground as high as you can and keep the hips low two breaths in through the nose and out breathe in and out coming back up hands to your hips inhale and begin to fall from your hips as you breathe out keeping the back flat when we can't go further feel free to then round the back and bring your hands down to the floor or to your legs relax your head and neck four breaths inhale through the nose and empty breathe in and out if all the weight is on your heels try to spread it to your toes as well one last breath in and out we'll keep the legs where they are and we'll do a halfway lift flattening the back breath in all forwards breath out halfway lift breath in and stay for the breath out we're going to put the hand on the floor but right under our head and without moving the hips we're going to twist from the thoracic area to the left and the left arm goes up three breaths breathe in through the nose and empty make sure your hips are squared in through the nose and out last one in and come back to center left hand in the middle where the right one was and without moving the hips we'll go to twist from the thoracic area to the right this time and right arm up three more breaths on this side breathe in through the nose and empty in out last one in and come back to center bring your hands to your hips and keep the core engaged nice and tight then hug your legs towards each other and begin to make your way up breathing in step to the front of your mat reach up inhale forward fold breath out halfway lift inhale down dog exhale and keep breathing through the nose so there is no difference between mind and body the same way we train our bodies to stay strong and flexible we must train our minds to be strong and flexible too we are now going to do some tiger curls this will strengthen the core 
and will help us improve the transitions when we step the foot at the front during our practice. Right leg up, inhale. Knee to chest, exhale. Keep pressing the heel to the glute and the knee to the chest. As you push the floor away, creating space in between your shoulder blades. Leg up, breath in. Tiger curl, breath out, push away. Leg up, inhale. Tiger curl, exhale. Last one, breath in and up. Exhale and down. And back to down dog. Left leg up, inhale. Knee to the chest, exhale. Keep pressing the heel to the glute and the knee to the chest. Pushing the floor away with your hands creating space in between your shoulder blades leg up breath in tiger curl breath out keep pushing the floor away leg up inhale tiger curl exhale last one inhale up exhale down and back to down dog let's take a deep breath in here then little steps to the front halfway lift inhale forward fold exhale Open your knees to the sides and gently make your way to the ground. We have two options today. Low bridge or wheel. For the low bridge, as we have been doing in previous sessions, the heels will go under the knees, fingers brushing the heels, and then we'll peel the back off the ground. Or wheel pose, keep your heels under your knees with the toes facing the front. Our palms are going to go behind our shoulders and wiggling it a little bit under our shoulders with the fingers pointing towards the shoulders. From here, we'll begin to peel the bag off the ground until we can't go any further. Then, we'll press with the hands towards the ground and bring the top of your head to the floor. Keep your elbows, shoulders distance apart and you can stay here or if you choose to lift yourself up Keep expanding the chest. The chest is guiding you to the sky. For this, we can stay for two breaths. Or if it's too much, make your way to the ground whenever you are ready. Keeping the core engaged wherever you are. One last breath in and out gently and doing the pose coming back to the ground getting ready for our relaxation shavasana or resting pose allow your legs to be straight forwards with your feet falling out 
your palms facing up and creating space between your arms and body. Feel a gentle wave coming from the top of your head, relaxing everything it touches all the way down to your toes. Relax everything. There's a quote from Lisa Messenger that says, your mind will always believe everything you tell it. Feed it faith, feed it truth, feed it with love. The mind can't always tell the difference. What we think, we become. So fuel your mind with positivity. Allow yourself to rest here for a few minutes enjoying this moment.
Gently begin to connect to your breath and bring some movement back to the body by moving your fingers, your toes, bringing your arms above your head for a full body stretch. Being grateful for gifting this time to yourself. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste. If you like the video and would like to see more, don't forget to subscribe and give thumbs up. It's free. I hope you have a wonderful day and see you soon.